Hi, I'm Julia and this is my shed. So um, today's job is uh, we're back on the Britannia and um, we've got the cross heads but what we haven't got is the drop links which um, I've got a, a 3D uh, 3D printed representation here. Um, so I've modelled it in FreeCAD, printed it out so I get a rough idea. I don't think I need to move the holes on, on the model slightly. But it's um it's quite a complex shape and we've got two levels. I'm not sure if you can see that. But you've got um you've got two levels here, so you've got this top top face and then a, a, a recessed area here. And then on on this side we've got an angled face. And that's basically to allow a, a hole to be drilled through for lubrication. And there's, there's obviously an angled face here. Um, we've got an angled face here. And again, there will be a hole drilled for lubrication for this bottom pivot point. Uh, so it's quite a complex part. And I thought, well, I have got a CNC milling machine. I've got a 3D model. How hard can it be? So... Um, I've got some stock. Um, I've thought about how I'm going to hold the stock in the vise, so I'll show you that in a second. Uh, what I'm going to do is drill these holes on the manual mill. So I'm basically so it'll be laid out like this. So um, that's the zip. That's the zero point from the CNC point of view. I'll drill these holes. Uh, I'll have a hole in the middle. We'll do another part. It will be reversed, but another part will be do, done on this side. So there'll be a, a couple of bolt holes holding it down in the middle. And what I've done is, what I'm hoping I can do is put a, some sort of pin in here to stop this moving sidewards. It will be glued down uh, to a carrier. Um, but I can't I can't figure out in the cam at the moment how to sort of do the top face then put a, a screw in and then finish off because um, actually doing this these angled faces is really difficult in the cam that program I'm using at the moment so I, I, something I need to improve on but um, for the time being we'll, we'll, we'll have a go at this see what happens maybe super glue will be strong enough maybe it won't um i can certainly put a flush fitting pin in these holes and that'll stop any side to side movement and most of the milling forces are going to be sidewards so i think that would work so we'll um it's, it's all a bit of an experiment really so i'll bring you along for the ride and we'll let's see what happens I've got a block of aluminium here that I've chopped up uh, on the bandsaw so I'm just going to face it so it's nice and parallel uh, and then I'll mount the work to that block. It's like a sacrificial piece. So I've got my bit of aluminium uh, that's been squared up. I've super glued um, some quarter inch steel uh, bar to the top of it. It's also clamped at the back. So I'm just going to take some very light cuts just to true up this end and then that will be my reference datum. So I'm hoping that won't shift. So it's a good test of how good the super glue is really. I did clean it up quite nicely. Anyway, let's have a look, see how successful we are. Okay, so I've drilled uh, all the holes on the manual milling machine. Um, I've got a few pegs just to drop into the larger holes. Hopefully that will provide a bit of sidewards um, 
Oops, I'm not sure if that's going to work. But, uh, a little bit of sidewards assistance. So that should hopefully uh, stop it moving. These holes are quite close to the edge, so I'm not sure how effective they're going to be. But um, we'll give them a go and see see how it goes. So as it's come off the CNC, I'm, I'm using a 10mm cutter, so it's not been able to quite get into this area here and here. And the same on this side, it's it's not, this bit should be flat and this bit should be flat. Um, but I think um, it's only going to take a couple of strokes of a file to get that looking a bit more how it should be. And, and to be honest, where it is on the loco, you, you probably wouldn't even notice it. It would be good enough, especially if it's painted. Um, but we, we do need a, an oil hole drilling in this face, so I'll probably need to just straighten this off a bit, just so we can drill that in. Um, the same on this face, you need an oil hole drilling diagonally into the to lubricate the pin. But yeah, just. Generally very pleased with that. So I've got a, a long series um, end mill in here and what we're going to try and do is just uh, straighten up this corner so it's quite it's a sort of five mil radius at the moment um, so we need it to come to a much sharper edge so that we can then drill straight down into this hole and that'll be for, for the oil lubrication. So it's, uh, I think it's a quarter inch end mill, so uh, that will allow me to go a bit into the aluminium if I want. So I'll just, it will just have to be very, um, very uh, small, light cuts really. So obviously I'm, I'm sort of, this isn't particularly strong. It's only held in one place. But I've got the, the vice snugged up tight, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on, shall we? So the next job is to centre drill this hole. It's it's quite far back on the flat, but uh, that means it it will actually basically hit the centre of this um, hole, hopefully. So uh, let's get centre drill in, and then we'll drill it out. So you don't have a great view here, but um, what I need to do now is, is drill an oil hole in this top face um, so that it intersects with the quarter inch hole for the main pivot. Again, that's to get some oil in there. So that's the uh, oil holes drilled. Um, I started off with 2.5 mil and then just did 1.5mm for the very last part. 
Having a brass pin here actually really helps because you can see the chips change colour when you get into the brass. So you, you know you've drilled deep enough. And we've got obviously got the hole there as well. So that's all the lubrication points done. So um, as you can probably see the surface finish isn't fabulous. Um, I was using quite an old cutter because um, I didn't really think it would actually work <laughs> successfully. So uh, I thought this would be an experiment because this, this um, steel isn't mild steel. It's something quite tough. But um, what I can do now is uh, get the files out and draw a file it a bit of emery paper, you know, smooth these curves around a little bit more and uh, it should look really good. As you can see we've got a bit of a dint in this side. So um, not perfect but again it should should be good enough. A little bit of cleaning up um, with a, be a file, just perhaps have a filing button just to get these a bit more circular. But overall I'm really pleased with how that's come out. That's my so my first attempt at making a part using CNC and uh, yeah, it's come out really well. So I, th I think that's probably enough for this week. Um, I've been not been able to do as much time in the workshop. We, we've had very hot weather in the UK this week, um, above 20 degrees. So it's pretty shockingly hot for here. Um, so, but uh, I hope you found that um, interesting, informative. Um, I'm sure you've got loads of questions, so please leave a comment, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.